Okay, let's do a live repair attempt. Now this is a PC, generic PC, custom built, and it just came to us today. Uh, apparently, uh, while it was working, it turned off, and they tried to turn it on, it won't turn off. But when they power cycle, cut the power out, and then turn it back on, light comes on briefly on the case, and then it goes off. So let's attempt to find what's going on. I haven't had a look yet, so I've just connected the basic essentials, keyboard, mouse, screen, whatever. And I'll get the monitor up and running. It's about a five-year-old machine, apparently. It's got a GTX 980 Ti. So, what I'm going to do, <coughs> I've got the monitor set up, uh, power on, press the power button, fan spun, and that's it, nothing else. It won't turn on. Nothing's happening. So what happened there was that fan there spun. So I'm going to cut the power. No power. Press the power button. Take all the power out. Turn it on. So you have a green light on the motherboard. That's before. Green light. Right there under the SATA cable. And I'm going to press the power button again. One, two, three. Hmm, this time nothing. So let's see what's going on. Looks like there is water cooling. <coughs> it has a SSD, traditional hard drive. In cases like this, situations like this, I always have a good suspicion of the graphic card. So I cut all the power. So what I'm going to do is actually take the graphic card out. It's one of the components that uses a lot of power. And MOSFETs can short. I could be wrong. Okay. We don't want to issue me anything yet, so I'll put this on the side and attempt to power it on again. Power in. Okay, press the power button. Lights came on briefly and it turned off. So most likely our graphic card is fine. So what we need to do? Isolate other components. If it shut down all of a sudden, just make sure nothing is loose. Okay. So, no liquid spill or anything. Okay, so let's front, remove the front USB port, just in case there's something short in there. Power. Same thing. Okay. Power off. Okay, what do we got? We got data cables won't do much, front cables won't do much. That's a front USB and front audio okay what else we can remove fans we need as much fans possible data cables we won't mind power again same so there's a short somewhere now last thing let's remove this Expansion card. Network card. Why would they put a different network card? <coughs> Power, same thing. Okay. So we do know there's a short somewhere. Now let's quickly try another power supply. The 
This is a new power supply. It is a 700 watt generic, but it's tested and working. Okay. Let's try the power supply. Boom. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Sometimes I'm not a fan of the generic ones. Had one explode on me as I plug in the power adapter, power, power cable. Very annoying. Hey, look at that, it's powering off. Could it be the case of just a bad power supply? Maybe. That is a 650 watts in there. And it's turning on. Of course there's no power. Okay. So one thing we can do is confirm something. So let's put front USBs. Now power cables for SATA, they come from here. Let's give power from our motherboard. What should we do? What should we do? They're all connected. Just want to boost the operating system. Okay. Open the other side of the case. What can kill a power supply like this? Okay. Fine, I've got the starter power in for the SSD. We just need basic essentials. Okay, that's that. We got power. Let's put the front audio. Okay, and let's put the GPU in there. What the hell? 700 watt power supply doesn't have enough cables for a 
bigger GPU. That's a bit weird. 700 watt, okay. I'll get an adapter to connect the graphic card power. Okay. I'll go ahead and get one and I'll be right back. Okay, got one of these. Molex 2. Molex 2 4 pin power supply. Okay, let's go ahead with the power. <coughs> let's see what happens. Everything else is connected. Power in. Power. Everything seems operational. And do we get anything on the screen? God. Sorry. Come on, buddy. Something coming up. There we go. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay. CPU fan error detected. Okay, let's cut the power quick. Interesting. Complaining about CPU fan. Hmm. So they're on. Something here. Okay, it's a bit dodgy. Two pins, okay, make sure that's in properly. It's in. Okay, let's try that again. Power. Power. I want these guys to spin and they're not spinning. Uh, could be that they're getting power from the data connector. Okay, that explains something. All right, one sec. Huge mess here. Okay, so I suspect those fans. This, uh, these cables here, they're getting power from here, which is the issue. Okay, so we need to disconnect this and just temporarily, we'll do the wiring later. So let's see. Okay, we should be able to turn the system on now. This is actually a nice location for a power supply. Alright, power. 
yeah, fans are now spinning. And we should get a post coming up. Come on, wakey wakey. Yep, digital SMS. Okay, and that should build into Windows. Uh, okay, yeah, BIOS has been reset, 6th generation, okay, no problem. Alright, let's just reboot. All right, thank you for watching. I'll uh, see you in the next one. This was an easy one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.